Well, hello there, boys and girls. As you can see by the wonderful gameplay before your eyes, this is Borderlands 2, and I thought today I would bring something new to your attention. I'm going to talk about all the new games that have been coming out uh, recently, fairly recently. Um, mostly uh, Resident Evil 6, Borderlands 2, and most recently Dishonored, which, as I'm doing this commentary, just came out. And all three of those games that I just mentioned seem to be very awesome. They seem to be doing very well. Uh, they seem to be liked by the majority of people that are buying these games and playing these games. Even if these games are, are at the solid standard price tag of $50 a game or $60 a game or whatever it is in euros or wherever you're from. Um, which, in my opinion, gaming is, is an expensive hobby. It really is. Like it's, it's one of the most expensive hobbies you can have, especially if you're a hardcore gamer that uh, plays a huge variety of games like me. It can definitely add up quick and take up uh, quite a bit of your annual income um, can be just devoted to consoles, games, controllers, think about all the different services you pay for like Xbox Live and I, I guess you don't pay for PlayStation or Wii or anything like that. But I have all three uh, current generation systems along with emulators and old systems and I, I put a lot of money into gaming. But that's not the, the majority of what I want to talk about in this commentary. What I want to talk about in this commentary today is these new games. So I picked up uh, one of the three of the games that I mentioned. All I have is Borderlands 2 out of Borderlands 2, Resident Evil 6, and Dishonored. And uh, I'm going to explain in this commentary why that is. Every time a, a new game comes out for me, it's a little bit different than it is for a new game coming out for a 16-year-old high school student that doesn't have to have a full-time job uh, and all he does is go to school and then when he come home, comes home, um, he can play video games all day, which uh, for some of you guys, that's you. Uh, some of my audience is 30-year-olds, some of my audience is 12-year-olds. It, it varies who's watching my videos on YouTube, so it can be uh, a very subjective interpretation of, of, of whatever I'm saying. But as you can see, uh, I'm trying to explain this as best as possible, but I don't know if I'm quite getting the message through. What I'm trying to say is, is it, it's different for you as a consumer than it is for me as a content creator when I'm buying video games because whenever I buy a video game from now on for the past I'd say two or three years I'm not thinking about how much fun I'm gonna be having with the game I'm not thinking about how much uh, entertainment I'm going to be getting out of the game whether I'm gonna get my money's worth or not for the most part I'm thinking about can I make videos on this game? Can I live stream this game? Can I use this uh, game to make lots of video content for YouTube? Because YouTube is what I do primarily for a job uh, nowadays. So to answer uh, a question that a lot of you guys, my, my viewers and my audience has been asking me uh, quite a bit, which is, are you gonna be playing these new games? Are you gonna be posting videos on these new games? And, and which ones can we expect? Um, I would say I, I will post maybe a few Borderlands 2 videos. Um, I didn't get Resident Evil 6, I didn't get Dishonored, just because those are two uh, single player and, and, well I guess Resident Evil 6 is co-op, uh, just two games that I, I can't really uh, put my eggs in that basket right now. Like I can't really focus my time on that right now because I'm, I'm really working on a lot of other stuff and I feel like personally, just to me, I've already made a decision that it would be counterproductive. Uh, for, for what I want to do on YouTube if I buy these two other new games and, and drop $120 down the drain that I would ultimately be wasting because I wouldn't be um, making the videos that I wanted to on those games. I really don't feel like making a bunch of guides and walkthroughs or let's plays of, of Resident Evil 6. I don't feel like doing that with Dishonored either. I know Dishonored is an awesome game from uh, Bethesda Softworks, which is the people who make Fallout and uh, uh, Skyrim and things like that. And I love Skyrim, and you guys know that I freaking, I absolutely love Fallout. I can't wait for the next Fallout game. And uh, even Borderlands 2 and, and the original Borderlands is like a post-apocalyptic game, and I just freaking love it, and it's a loot fest, and there's lots of crazy monsters, and as you can see, I just leveled up to level 10, and you spec into different talents. Like, Borderlands is awesome. The Borderlands universe is really cool. I just, I don't really see a fit for the type of videos that I want to make on Borderlands, unless it's some sort of like highlights of just me messing around on Borderlands 2, playing live with my friends. If you guys want to see that, please be vocal about it, leave me some comments down below. Uh, if you really, really are a, are a Borderlands 2 fan and you don't mind just random banter as we're playing the game, I can upload some of that, but I, I'm, I'm not going to be doing like detailed walkthrough sort of guides to all the best weapons, things like that. That's what I'm saying I don't really have time for, because right now, 
I'm playing a, a huge variety of games. I'm working on a lot of stuff in my personal life. I'm constantly writing. I'm working on things like uh, setting up uh, all sorts of stuff on the business end of my life now that I've moved to Los Angeles. Things are a lot more crazy and a lot more busy, um, but I'm doing all right. I'm really happy. I'm having a great time. I've, I'm having a freaking blasty blast with all the people that I've met and hung out with over the past few days. If, you, if you've seen my recent videos, you know I've been hanging out with all sorts of YouTubers and having all sorts of shenanigans take place. Um, so thank you guys for being a part of this. Thank you for watching me for as long as you have, whether it's been three and a half years or you just found my channel yesterday. I appreciate the shit out of you, and uh, there's a lot more videos on the way. This is only the beginning, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, I want to thank you for it. This has been Muzza Fuzza. Thanks for watching. Peace out.